Sister Maria Luisa, good afternoon. May God bless you. I would like to ask you a question in Luke chapter 6, verse 20. Luke 6, 20. Yes, sister, you may read. Thank you. Then he lifted up his eyes toward his disciples and said, Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. My question, sister, is what is to be poor in spirit? Well, it says, Then he, our Lord Jesus, lifted up his eyes toward his disciples and said, Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. So the question is, who are the poor? Well, it was not the poor in money. It is not the financially poor, but the poor in spirit who lacked knowledge of God's word. When our Lord Jesus Christ appeared on earth in Jerusalem to preach the gospel and to preach the kingdom of heaven and to fulfill the law of Moses, he found that all of the people had no knowledge of God, that people were ignorant in regards to the things of the Lord. So he called them poor. They were poor in spirit. There was a spiritual poverty. They had no knowledge. They did not know God. They did not know the word. This is why they live as they do, like sheep without a shepherd. They go to and fro many different directions because they do not know anything. So he said, I'm going to preach to them. I'm going to teach them so that they are no longer poor in the knowledge of God, but that they may learn to know God. And so the Lord began to work the miracles and signs and to speak of the kingdom and the gospel so that people could convert and turn away from sin and cease to be poor in that knowledge. So the Lord here spoke and said that this person who was poor in that knowledge still had a heart that was prepared to learn. It is said that the apostles, they were people that were poor because they did not know God's word, but God began to teach them and they accepted and they believed. So they followed the Lord and the Lord said, follow me, follow me. And they did. They followed him. So the Lord said, they are blessed. Blessed are you poor because we preach to them. We teach them. And those who say they are rich and who have it all and who know it all. Well, we will not preach to them. We will not teach them because of their arrogance and their pride. They have scorned the word of God. And what had happened was in that time, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, they were the different divisions among the Jews in that time. They said that they knew all of the law, that they knew all of the Lord's doctrine. And so they would cast down all of our Lord Jesus Christ's teachings. And they would say that they knew more than our Lord Jesus Christ. So our Lord Jesus Christ said, okay, fine, you think you are rich, that you are rich in knowledge, so then I will not teach you. I will not say anything to you because since you are rich and you do not want to hear the word, well, then I will not give it to you. So this is why when they asked the Lord questions, he would not answer their questions. He would say, well, I'm not going to answer that question because you don't deserve it. I will answer the questions of the poor, those who are poor in knowledge, those who are prepared to learn. And those were the poor and the rich in that time. And even in this time as well, there are those who are poor in God's knowledge. And there are people who they say they are rich. They say, I'm a great philosopher, a great theologist. I studied in the best universities about God. I know more. I'm a reverend. People need to honor me. People need to bow down before me to greet me because I am the greatest. They think they are rich in knowledge, but truly they do not have God. And so God will say to them, you are not rich. You are miserable. Because you are arrogant and proud and you do not want to learn about God because you think you know it all. But there are those who are poor like us. We were poor and we've believed in the Lord 
And now God has enriched us in his knowledge with humility. Glory to God. 